Hi there, and welcome to Allendale Junior High School's Open House. My name is Martin Fetchner, and I'm proud to be the principal here at this school. And I'm excited to share uh, some information about why this school is such a great school. Uh, I'm hoping the information you get is uh, valuable in making a decision for next year and which school you'd like to attend. Uh, if at the end of this presentation and the presentations that follows, you still have questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Call us at the uh, school office or email me direct, and I'll try to make sure that you get the answers to those questions. Uh, normally at this time of year, we're inviting families in and students in to see the amazing work that my students and teachers are doing together. Uh, but that's not the case this year. This is a year of change. Uh, so we're excited to share with you, though, through this platform, what things look like at Allendale. So here we go. So what makes Allendale unique? Academic excellence. We have a standard that we set with our students and they meet that standard. Uh, they are an impressive group of students. Choice, we offer students a variety of programs. Full junior high experience, meaning that we are a full junior high seven, eight, nine, and a dedicated teaching staff. We focus on ac academic excellence in all curricular areas. Our students know this and they achieve. S outstanding, motivated, and respectful students. I gotta tell you, it's a well-kept secret here at this school, but man, I've been at a lot of junior highs and my students are impressive. Allendale has something going on here. An extensive intramural program, lunch and after school activities. Great things happening all the time. Safe school. This is a safe school. And again, a friendly and highly educated staff. I want to share with you our 2019 Provincial Achievement Test scores. And I just want you to take a look at how we achieve compared to the province, not only at the acceptable standard, but at the standard of excellence. Uh, my students are something special. My teachers work hard with them to get these results, and my students meet those expectations. What else do we offer? Well, cross-graded homeroom activities promoting citizenship and character development. A competitive and diverse athletic teams. We offer teams for everyone. Exceptional student leadership opportunities, access to technology to support learning, and a strong parent and community support. So let's talk a little bit more in detail about these programs here at Allendale. Four unique programs, one great school. The COVIDO program, the Germ Bilingual program, our regular academic program, our interactions program. So let's talk about the COVIDO program. Here, this is a program where students are looking for an extra challenge, interesting extensions, faster pace with high expectations regarding homework and regular studying. These expectations for homework, achievement, and behavior exist as well. Not for everyone, but uh, students currently earning an A and a B find it a good fit when transitioning from elementary into junior high. Unique to this at the junior high level is our Social Studies World History course, which is an added to course for grades 7, 8, and 9, and our Mathematics Geometry course, which is also an added to course for 7, 8, and 9. German Bilingual, which is our second program here at the school. We are the only school in Edmonton Public to offer German Bilingual at the junior high level. Students will take German in Language Arts and Social Studies. The remainder of the program is taken in English. Students in grade nine will take the Sprach Diploma A2 and B1, which is a language proficiency test. All German bilingual students that want to continue in the program are automatically accepted at Allendale. German bilingual students, German bilingual is continued after Allendale at Strathcona High School. Our regular academic program. Students are still held to a high level of expectation for behavior and achieving at their best. Usually students who live within our boundary uh, attend our regular academic, but this is not limited to that. Our interactions program. We are a school division site for students with autism. Some students are integrated within our regular program. Full participation in school events and Eagle group activities are done. So the question I guess is what classes do I take when I'm at Allendale? Well, you're going to take a language arts class, you're going to take a math class, you're going to take a science class and a social class, Z and health. This is pretty standard at any school you pick. Our second language option is what, where we're a little bit unique and our fine arts and CTF. Quarter options, lots of choice. So just so uh, parents and everybody watching this understands, uh, the pandemic has been a challenge for all of us. And as a school, we have responded out of an abundance of caution for students and st staff safety. Um, some of the pictures you see that we're showcasing tonight uh, do uh, show kids without masks. These were taken prior to the pandemic. 
Uh, some of our programs, like band, for example, has been put on pause uh, just due to the restrictions. Uh, so we're hoping that some of these things will come back as restrictions start to ease. But uh, we are making things work in the current condition. So second language options. You can continue with French at Allendale. Or because we're a German bilingual school, you could take beginner German. Uh, as an introductory German course for grades 7, 8, and 9. And again, for our for German bilingual students, we offer German bilingual. Fine arts. Students will pick one of three. So we offer a, an incredible art program here at our school. Drama is also quite the program, and band. I'm quite proud of the fact that we do have a band program. Like I said before, it is on pause this year, but we're hoping that with the restrictions easing up uh, as things change over the next few months, that band will be back in force in September. Well, we're hoping to offer students lots of choice for quarter options. So you're going to be able to choose four options. You'll get one per quarter. Uh, we will be sending information on these selections to elementary schools in May uh, and we'll get those back and we'll start building schedules based on that information. At this point, when you go into school zone, all you're selecting at this time is your next year school. What are the uh, options that we offer in CTF? So, well, construction, we have a full construction lab. Foods, just remodeled, quite the impressive space. Robotics, we just uh, revamped our entire robotics program. Video game design, 3D design digital art, film studies, outdoor education, and leadership, just to name a few. Ego groups is something I'm passionate about. Students begin uh, their groups as being cross-graded in grades 7, 8, and 9, and we call this an ego group. Students will meet with their ego groups to take part in school-wide activities and events such as Taste of Allendale, Terry Fox Run, team building activities or school competitions, even character education and assemblies. The idea is to create a community here where grades 7, 8, and 9 know each other, trust each other, and work together. Home of the Eagles. We offer teams. If you are looking for a spa space to uh, be part of a team, we have one for you. Cross-country running, soccer, Volleyball, senior and junior teams, basketball, senior and junior, curling, flag football, badminton, slow pitch, track and field, and the list goes on. There's something here for you. Clubs and activities. Allendale provides a wide range of clubs and activities for students before school, at lunch, and after school. Students are encouraged to join something. And I got to tell you honestly, guys, join something. Be part of something more than just the classroom. Join a sport team. Join a club, be part of something else. Your junior high experience will be that much more memorable and you'll get so much more out of this school when you do. Art club, in, invention convention, science fair, board game club, completion center, school play, dream catchers club, improv team, movie club, and there's so much more. And if students have a club that they want to start, if they can get three or four students together and a teacher sponsor, we'll start that club. So uh, lots to choose from. Transportation. How do you get here? Well, our students in our interactions program do receive yellow busing, but outside of that, yellow busing is not offered to our students. So transportation will happen through public transportation. If you're taking the LRT, there's a transit hub at uh, Southgate, and you can take the bus right to the front door of Allendale. We have lots of families that are taking advantage of our student drop-off at the front of our school, uh, and they're driving. And yes, biking and rollerblading and skateboarding to school and walking are all something that's happening too. So lots of varieties. Parent involvement. Definitely get involved in our school. We'd love to hear from our parents. School Council and the Allendale Education Foundation are a big piece here. Uh, Access, or Axes, uh, is our Alberto Cultural Exchange Experience Society, currently on pause due to the fact of travel restrictions in our province and internationally. And we have the Association for English German Bilingual Education of Edmonton, which is our Agby Association. Lots of ways to get involved here as parents. So, pre enrollment in school zone. How do you do this? So each spring, parents across the district pre-enroll to tell us the school they'd like their child to attend for next year. Pre-enrollment helps schools and families plan for the next year. So right now, we're open for pre-enrollment. So between March 8th and April 15th of this year, sign into the Parent School Zone account to select your child's preferred school. You do not need to pick uh, courses at this time. Like I said, we'll deal with that in May. If you need help and you can't connect to school zone to pre-enroll, or if you have questions about choosing a school, talk to your child's school that you currently attend to because they'll be able to support you in getting access to your school zone account. So, 
Parents may pre-enroll their child through school zone or complete a registration form for students that do not exist inside of Edmonton Public School Board. Just go to allendale.epsb.ca for more information on this process. Uh, this all must be done in order to participate in a random selection process if the school goes there. All schools must accept all students who pre-enroll. Uh, or if they're oversubscribed, they conduct what's called a random selection. So who is accepted during pre-enrollment? Well, all returning students are guaranteed a spot at the school. Students that live in our attendance boundary, they're guaranteed a spot in our school. And students that reside within the Cogento boundary, which is a larger boundary outside of that, uh, they have a spot in our school. And students continuing the German bilingual program are guaranteed a spot no matter what. Out of attendance area students are accepted if space permits. And I have to tell you honestly, in the past couple of years that I've been at this school, we have not gone to a random selection. So the odds of getting in at Allendale are very good. Uh, the only way though to get in though is you need to apply. So if again, more students from outside the attendance area apply, then as space is available, we will conduct a random selection. So key points for random uh, for pre-enrollment is all students applying uh, to a school are considered equally. It's not based on your behavior, your grades, or who's in first. We wait till the 15th and that's when we make our decision. There are no waiting lists. If a program is deemed to be full after the student's pre-enrollment process, a waiting list of students cannot be kept in the event that space is available in September. The pre-enrollment process provides equitable and fair access to our schools and programs for all students. This year we weren't able to do it. We had to run it the first day of school and uh, normally we would run a grade seven orientation the day before school starts for a couple of hours. The goal is that uh, we welcome students in, we get them their locker, their textbooks, we show them their classrooms, we introduce them to their teachers and that way the, there's not that uh, anxiety on the first day of school. Our goal right now is for September 1st at around 10 a.m. Uh, that we will run a grade seven orientation to uh, welcome our students. Uh, we are excited to do this with our grade sevens if uh, Alberta Health Services says that we're allowed to bring a cohort like this together, we will do it. If uh, not, we will do it on the first day of school like we did this year. So for more information, please visit our website at allendale.epsb.ca. And if you do have specific questions that you want to uh, talk about, definitely reach out. My email is martin.fechner at epsb.ca, or you can talk to my assistant principal, brenna.meriden at epsb.ca. I am hosting uh, some conversations with the principal. This is by RSVP, so please reach out to me on my email. Uh, two sessions, Thursday, March 18th from 3 to 4, and Thursday, April the 8th from 9 till 10. Uh, those are two times where parents, if you have specific questions that you want to ask and you just want to drop into a Google Meet, you're welcome to do so, and I look forward to meeting with those groups at that time. So tonight, what are you gonna see? We're gonna have some drop-in sessions. These are uh, live Google Meet sessions. Teachers have a little bit of a presentation to share with you, short, and then they're gonna be open to questions if you have something specific that you wanna ask. So tonight, again, like I said, uh, various sessions from various departments. Take the time to meet my staff, ask questions and learn why Allendale is a great place to be.